it is day three. It is what Tuesday. Tuesday. Yep. yep Tuesday. Tuesday. So we are heading down to go see the USS Yorktown aircraft carrier. So it's like they turned it into a museum now. So we're gonna head down there. It's only two miles away from where we're at. So we're gonna head down there, and then we are gonna go grab some garlic crabs from this place where it is just like it's absolutely ridiculous it looks incredible i mean it's going to be like a 35 minute ride yeah it's a place on the side of the road somewhere. yeah or 35 40 minutes away but it don't matter what we saw we're going to try it so hopefully we get down there and they have actual crabs we might want to call them up ah. so yeah that's a good idea because they had a thing on on the what was it on the YouTube thing yeah there they had a uh, uh, sign said no more crabs so we might want to call them up yeah, so. before we go yeah. yeah so aircraft carriers and garlic crab Charleston look at that aircraft carrier this camera is not doing it justice I mean it's huge and look at this little baby chopper I told Michael it looks like a big toy. South Carolinans who died in the Vietnam War all gave some, some gave all. Remember the fallen. Look at this. These are all dog tags. So many dog tags. And here is... Is this a helicopter or no? Yes, Cobra. Here is a cobra. You liking it so far? Well, it's nice. I, I like the Vietnam one so far, and then we got on this little battleship. It, it's like yeah, a little a... carrier or something. So then we have a submarine over there. So we got Mike over and try to get on. And then they have the big aircraft carrier. So back right there, we're going yeah. up there next. So we haven't been there yet. This is the ship that we just came off of. Here's the chapel. There's a chapel on the ship. That's one thing, you might not believe in God. And when it comes to war, you seem to find them real fast. Alright guys, this is called no privacy. 
these all come down, and these are all your beds, and your lockers, and your game. Do you want to play checkers? I don't know if this back is backgammon, cards. This is the butcher shop. Oh, I'm sure they have more than that. And the hooks are right there. Look at these. That's a block right That's there. A block for you. This is where we begin. Take your train. Come on down the line. Well, they were. Okay, everybody. We are in the bakery. And for all you that like to bake, how would you like to bake for 10,000 people? Or 10,000 cookies? This is the recipe for 10,000 cookies. Oh yeah, that's you yeah, just I mean, industrial. Like, like this is like the little thing that you put on your hand mixer, the little silver thing that your mom would let you like lick the batter off when she was making a cake. This you want to lick the batter off of that, <laughs> believe me. It does smell sweet in here. Yeah, it smells like I know, somebody's it's, cooking or baking something right now. It, it smells sugary in here. It's like, I don't know what's going on. If, they, if this is like real sugar or they just put that smell in here for effect, but it smells sweet in here like a bakery. Yeah. This is a mess hall. 3,400 men on the ship. In this, How many? 3,400 men on the ship. In this room and one other room, that's called 3,400 men four times a day. Even. Woo! Room. People taking it back to their locker, I guess. I don't know. We're on this aircraft carrier one time. It was from, I think they even had the, had this, well, they had this World War II Korea. Vietnam. So every single one of the helicopters, the planes, even the older ones, they all some sometimes somehow were on this on this carrier. So but here's the we're on the flight bridge. This bridge is actually what gets you from That's that's the that, they have chopper rides, helicopter rides. He likes to wave to everybody. Even, I like to see the flowers. Even the planes that are in the sky, she'll sit there and go like this, like they can see her. <laughs> and there's the captain's chair, overlooking. everything it's got to be pretty intense watching the ship just rocking back up and down hitting all them waves okay 40 minutes later we're here we're gonna see what this place is all about Guys, this is what we drove all this way for. Garlic crab. This is six jumbo crabs. And it's made with a special garlic butter kind of sauce mixture thing. So excited to eat this. I wish you guys could smell this. So good. Let's, let's have a verdict in real time. Oh my god. So good. Oh, I do know how they cook these. Oh goodness. Alright, I'm going to put the camera down guys and, and get in here. Oh.
Yeah, it's like a roadside little yeah. thing. So, um, definitely bring that. I mean, they were nice enough to give us a wet towel so we could just wash our hands. Because I was just going to buy a bottle of water and just do it outside. But, you know, but I'm just, if you ever if you get a chance, just, you know, if you're going to eat it there. I, I have a feeling that... It's more of a carry-out. Yeah, I have more I of a feeling that people are just carrying it out because everybody came in. Yeah, we were the only ones who actually yeah. ate there. The even. guy was like, even like you're, you're eating it here? And I was like, yeah. And he was like, oh, okay. So he was like, hold on, let me warm them up a little bit more. But yeah, they had tables inside and they had some outside, but you could tell that that's not really a thing people do except for out-of-towners like us, I guess. The locals, they all came and got their stuff and left. But it was so good. So if you're ever in Charleston, it is worth taking the 35, 40 minute drive over here. I'm going to leave the information down below so you can check them out. And actually, there was the way we heard about them was from a YouTube video. So if I can find that video, I'll link that video and you guys can watch it and see what it's all about. It was so good. Yeah. Woo. So, <laughs> he took one, like the first bite and he was like, oh. And he's hard to impress when it comes to anything with crab. I, I grew up with crabs. I mean, I've been eating crabs since we were five years old. You know, just, I mean. You were like five years old cracking crabs. I don't know <laughs> if I was cracking them, but I was eating them. <laughs> you know, I mean, and my grandfather used to go crabbing all the time on the weekends. So, you know, we always used to have crabs. I mean, we're from Baltimore. I mean, that's all you eat is crab and oysters. That was your main seafood. Yeah, so if, if he liked them, then they were really good because he's difficult to impress when it comes to stuff like that. We got a jumbo. We got a half a, half a dozen, half dozen jumbos, jumbos, and that was perfect. And it, it was it was perfect. And they were jumbos, not none of this, because you know how these places say, oh, they're large and they're jumbos, and you get yeah. them, and you're like, what is this? Yeah. But those were very for as nice. Much size. As we would have paid for a, a normal dinner that we paid all week. Yeah. Like if we had, if we had gone out to dinner. Yeah. It was the same exact amount, actually a little cheaper, and it filled us up. I mean, it was, I mean, we got some gator bites. Oh yeah, we got some alligator bites too. We got some too, alligator to go. bites to go, because I know in it's a couple like hours we're yeah, we'll hungry. <laughs> six o'clock right now. By the time eight o'clock comes around, we're gonna be a little hungry, and uh, we're gonna just kind of like relax for the night. Because we've been out in the sun all day, oh, the gosh. aircraft carrier and. Then driving out here, now we got to drive back. Hopefully there's not too much traffic, but that sun kind of takes it out of you. So we're just going to relax and just yeah, enjoy the rest of our day. we got one more day evening. left, and I think tomorrow we're just going to go downtown, walk around, enjoy the day, all the little shops, all the little things you have down there, and show you guys some of the crazy houses Oh my down there. gosh. Whoa. Oh my goodness. I mean, there's like little mini mansions yeah, all over the place. It's beautiful. And you know what I love about Charleston? It's like they really respect history down here. I mean, the area that we're staying in is called Mount Pleasant and it's just over the bridge. So we asked the guy um, at the place that we're staying, like, are all the houses in this area relatively new? Because we were looking at them and they look old, but at the same time, they look very clean, they look very new. So I was like, I don't know, they look old, but I don't think they're that old. So we asked him and he said, oh yeah, everything in this area is less than 14 years old, but there's a regulation that they have to stay in like the Charleston style. So you can't even build a house in that area unless it's in the Charleston Southern sort of style. And that's very, very cool. I dig that a lot. Uh, I don't think it was here. It was one of those. There was like something going on, like they had. Oh, it's right there. It's in there. Oh, okay. So you just I thought they had like like a buzz in type of thing, and I was like, <laughs> so they were like, nope, closed. <laughs> closed at seven o'clock. I was like, what in God? <laughs> but it's weird because you can go to any grocery store and buy beer and wine. You can go to and you could go to Aldi's and buy beer and wine. You can go to Trader Joe's and buy beer and wine. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. 
Whole Foods even had it. Oh, Whole Foods even had it? Wow. Yeah. Well, it's, they had a sign saying wine. Yeah, we're, not, we're not used to like being able to buy like stuff like that in the grocery store. In California, we do it all the time because they have full-on liquor like in Walmart and stuff, which is crazy to us. But, yeah. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to hit the liquor store and then we're just going to go back home and just relax. Take a night. shower. Take, oh my God, oh. take a shower. Take a shower. Ooh, got like sweat and sunscreen all over us. So, yes, that's what we're going to do. Those One of those glazed donut look. Glazed, yeah, yes, you guys know. I, I kind of look like this all the time because my face is just like shiny like that. But today, extra, extra. So that's what we're going to do. Go back to the hotel, shower, and just chill for the rest of the night. Mm -hmm. All right, everybody. <laughs> Thanks a lot for watching. We are going to end this one. We had a fun time today. Good eats. Great seeing that uh, the ship and everything else that went with it. Mm -hmm. And tomorrow we're gonna wind up going downtown. We're gonna see all the little shops. We're gonna go to a couple little restaurants, get something to eat, and see all the stuff that you know. We're gonna show the architectural places, the, the really beautiful homes. I mean, absolutely. I mean, homes that just oh, gorgeous. They're gorgeous. So we're Tomorrow's just gonna our, do that. Yeah, it's gonna be our last day. Our last full day. Yeah. So we're gonna do that and just. Just kind of just take it easy on this last day. So that's about it. So we will see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. See ya. Bye.